Hello and welcome back and today we're going to talk about a big big thing about Windows Server 2016. Buffalo have finally released the WSS 2016 range for 2018. Let's talk about it. Okay, so before we get our hands dirty on this, it's worth talking about Windows Server. Now, Windows Server still continues to be probably the most widely used uh, server software out there in the world. But, you know, we talk about all these NAS ranges here on the channel, and that does include Buffalo, but when it comes down to it, a lot of you out there are so familiar with the Windows OS and, of course, Windows 10 platform, that when it comes to the right soft, um, server software for you, you instantly go towards Windows Server. Now, Windows Server 2016 has been available to buy for a little while, um, let's say about a year and a half, two years, but Windows Storage Server is a variant of that software that isn't available to buy. Windows Storage Server is a, a version of that software that is um, granted to OEMs and brands and manufacturers like Tikus and Buffalo, and what they do is they then market and then produce a NAS that has this software built in. There's lots of advantages and disadvantages, and we will talk about in another video the main differences between Windows Server and Windows Storage Server. But what I want to talk about is the Buffalo WSS 2016 range. They are now the only NAS out there that you can purchase with the Windows Server software included and on board. So what happens is you buy uh, the two, four, or six bay device, there's a couple on screen there, and what it does is you can set this device up, it's got an SSD inside that's got the Windows Server software included, and it's instant deployment of your Windows Server. So if you're looking for a no fuss, easy, cost effective Windows Server solution, this is the unit to look at for the 2016. 2012 and 2012 R2 have been around for a while, but yeah, bin those, this is the one to go for. Now the Windows um, Storage Server 2016 Buffalo series, again, is available in two, four, and six bay device. First, we'll talk about the two and the four bay. Now the two and the four bay devices arrive with 10 GBE on board. So first off, woohoo! 10 gigabit ethernet, 10 times the speed of traditional um, network interfaces, and it's 10G base T. On top of that, it arrives with an Intel based CPU, you've probably got that on the screen there, and DDR4 memory, which is going to be great for virtualization and, of course, to keep things moving with all of your users. Now, one of the things I will say is rather than going and buying Windows Server and installing it on your NAS, and instead of that, actually buying Windows Storage Server NAS, which has got the license included, gives you two major advantages. One, you don't have to buy any of those CAL licenses. This will give you all the um, it will give you all of the user licenses rather than having to buy a new license every time you add a new user. Secondly, the software is instantly deployed inside. You won't need to install it manually or start looking around for a key code. This will just let you roll out new users and more accessible users immediately. Now. The device has got USB copy, it's got RAID installed inside and saves you the bother of either homebrewing and buying a server yourself or building it, but giving you all the advantages of the NAS server such as the Buffalo Terra Station series, but with Windows Storage Server already pre-installed. It's a huge leap, and particularly for people that are looking at WSS 2016, or you've been running 2012 or even 2008 server for quite a while and are already starting to fill the cracks. Now, um, depending on which unit you go for, uh, the version of Windows Server you get will differ because the two and the four bay arrive with Workgroup or Essentials Edition, depending on how you want to name it. But if you move to the six bay version, the six bay version of the Windows Storage Server 2016 Buffalo NAS series arrives again with 10 GBE, arrives with an even better CPU, and it's one of the Intel J series CPU, the J1900, it's a quad core, and that also arrives with four, um, eight gig of memory. But on top of that, it also arrives with um, standard edition. Now the standard edition of Windows Server 2016 arrives with the ability to support more services, deduplication, it supports um, uh, more users, and it has a better um, support of individual users in virtualization. If you want to learn more about these individual devices and their release here in May 2018, then do go into the description below for the link towards more information, far more detailed about the fully populated units, because all of these arrive with hard drives installed with as little as four terabytes, all the way up to 48 terabytes of storage, either part or fully populated. Do go down there and learn more about Windows Storage Server, and do check out my up and coming video soon about Windows Server versus Windows Storage Server. But thank you so much for watching. If you found this interesting or helpful, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to visit nascompares.com to learn more. Thank you so much for watching.